quick look inside one of these carrier RTUs aka carriers version of an IntelliPak they're pretty big replacing all these wire nuts inside this motor with Polaris connectors Polaris connectors are always a good option sometimes the pecker head is pretty small this one's uh, got quite a bit of room looks like this is a uh, let me see here yeah well, whatever I'm trying to find how many horsepower it is uh, da, 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 30 horse yep there it is 30 horse said it's for these uh blower inside this uh, carrier RTU see they got a good size uh, section header there yeah. looks like they got the optional upgrades so you can see on this motor got rid of all the wire nuts and put Polaris connectors on and if you'll notice another thing You'll notice that, see if I can get it to focus, that you have a bunch of terminals. Well, this happens to be a 12 pole motor. And here would be the diagram for that. Dual voltage, you got low voltage, high voltage. And then this is actually telling you your connections. So by the symbol, you automatically can see that that is a delta wound motor and then they give you all the all the terminals how you're supposed to connect it but this is kind of cool because it gives it shows you how the windings are and this is a delta windings so I'm doing another one of these motors where I'm putting the Polaris connectors on and I happen to notice units off right but look what's happening and if you pay attention to that, that could tell you that you have a builder pr building pressure problem, which the building engineer did confirm with me when I asked him about it. So I'm testing this compressor. There's the number. I'm using my Fluke 1587. Since this is a 460 volt unit, I'm going to use the 1000 volt range. But here's what I like to do. There's a test called PI, PI, Polarization Index, and then DAR, Dielectric Absorption Ratio. These are timed tests. You can see I hit the button it goes to pi you hit insulation test and it will do it based on time I mean these readings are pretty good right now 2.2 giga ohms of resistance using a thousand and fifty one volts the pi and dar test in my opinion are better than just what a lot of people do, which is just a quick little test for 10, 15, 20 seconds. These are, as I said, a time test. One of them is a 30 second, one minute. The other one is a one minute, 10 minute test. And then it gives you a ratio and you use that to start really getting down into the nitty-gritty finding out if your windings are good because you're sending constant voltage to them and seeing if there's any degradation I know another thing you guys would enjoy. I brought my tent up here. While it's not super hot today, I do feel like having some shade. That's the brand Eagle Peak. 
it's actually a pretty reasonable cost the other cool thing is is the bag that it comes in has backpack straps and it's fairly light doesn't weigh much keeps me well protected as I work on more of these carrier Intellipack wannabes.